Hello and welcome to my channel where I do guides for photography. Today we are inside Darktable 4.0 and we are going to develop this image of a mere cat. Now the first thing we need to do is to do something about the exposure because it's pretty dark and I want to balance it more. Now if we go into the exposure module we can go for mode and we can try automatic. I don't like to do that, but sometimes it uh, works great. In this case, it didn't, so I'm going to reset it. And instead, I'm going to create a new instance of exposure. So to do that, I'm simply going over this little squared icon and I'm right clicking and that creates a new instance. Now I'm going to go up pretty high on that one. So may, oops, maybe around there. And we can also play with the black level correction. And yeah, something like that. Uh, a challenge in this image is that the meerkat and the background, the sand and everything is sort of in the same tone range and also the same color range or and tone range, I mean luminosity. So it's going to be hard to separate the uh, meerkat from the backgrounds, but we are going to try. So I'm just going to show the clipping warning and we are crushing the blacks down in this hole, but that doesn't really matter. It's fine. So I'm actually going up slightly on the exposure, uh, even more actually, to somewhere around there. And we can play with the black level correction and add some blacks. Something like that. All right, so that's the exposure. Let's go into filmic RGB and we can try the auto tune levels, but I find that that doesn't really work all that much. Sometimes it's doing a perfect job. Sometimes it's just messing up everything, but let's try auto tune levels. And I don't like it, so let's reset the filmic. And I'm going to use the sliders myself instead. So let's try and get a decent white point. So somewhere around there. And let's try and get a black, black point. And I think I like it. Oops. Somewhere around here, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so that's the initial toning. Let's move over to the color tab and color calibration. And we are going to try and see if uh, Darktable can pick the right uh, white balance there. So we are using this droplet tool. So let's hit that. Yeah, it did a pretty decent job. I'm uh, happy about that. So the color calibration module is actually where the white balance is. This is where you're supposed to change the white balance. You're not supposed to use the white balance that are here. Uh, so be aware of that. So you got to go to the color calibration module to change the white balance. And sometimes it does a really good job when you hit the droplet tool but most of the times it just fails. Anyway, we could try and play with the RGB channels, but we're not going to do that. And then you have the colorfulness and the brightness, and we are not going to change anything of that. Let's move into color balance RGB instead. And I'm going to hit the global vibrance. I just want to sort of bring in some colors there because it's pretty flat when it comes to colors. Uh, so let's go to global chroma as well and pull that up and I'm just going to play around with the sliders there and let's do the same for global saturation and under perceptual brilliance grading this is where we can change the tones a bit more and I want to sort of move down the mid tones just to try and separate the meerkat from the background uh, and let's move up the shadows and move down the highlights just a bit. So something like that, maybe. 
let's have a look here at the meerkat yeah it's pretty sharp and pretty nice so that's good let's move into the correction tab and we are going to activate the noise profile lens correction chromatic aberration and haze removal and thanks to the haze removal we are actually able to separate the meerkat from the background so there isn't really any haze in this image but the haze removal works uh, really good sometimes as or to add contrast you can use the haze removal to just add some nice contrast to your image all right so that's so far what should we do now we can try the diffuse or sharpen and try and get even more details from the meerkat here the first thing i'm going to try is to add some local contrast and let's have a look here and let's just move in on the meerkat and this is without the local contrast and this is with the local contrast so it's not doing a whole lot but it's actually helping just a little bit with the contrast there so that's fine we could add a new instance of diffuse or sharpen and just go for maybe the fast sharpness preset and let's move in on the meerkat again Yeah, it's still pretty sharp and I like it a lot. So that's fine. So the next thing we can do is to actually create a vignette. So let's go into the effect tab, vignetting and drop the scale a bit and increase the fall of strength. And let's not desaturate anything. So within this circle, we aren't uh, doing anything with the vignette. So the vignette aren't affecting anything that's inside this circle. So I want to sort of make the vignette around that meerkat. So we are moving something like that. And I'm actually going to go down more on the brightness. I really want this to be contrasted the background and let's play with the fall of strength so i don't want the wingnet to be too obvious i don't want to have this sort of circle around the meerkat where you can see that there's a clear difference there so to avoid that you should probably increase the fall of strength so i'm going to do that and let's have a look so this is without vignette and this is with the vignette and i do like it but let's increase the fall of strength even more all right so what i want to do now is to yeah let's go for the base tab and let's go for the exposure and let's just increase the exposure a bit that's actually not only a bit, that's quite a lot. <laughs> and let's have a look there. Yeah, we aren't really clipping anything. We are crushing some black. So we can go into Filmic RGB. Let's activate the clipping again. And we can play with the black relative exposure. So let's go up, up, up. and let's have a look here yeah somewhere around there let's go into look and i'm going to add some more contrast something like that let's go back to color balance rgb and i'm going to open the shadows just a bit And I think we are done. Now, some people say that you shouldn't use the contrast inside color balance RGB. I don't care. If you don't want to do that, don't do it. It's fine for me. I don't care. I use it. All right. So that's it 
for this image, I think. I think I'm pretty happy about it. It's pretty detailed. And <laughs> yeah, it tells a story. So this Meerkat, what Meerkat uh, does is that they always have one that keeps a lookout for dangers. And uh, they are working shifts doing that. And this one, she's oh, really, uh, she has a lot of attention around the surroundings. So she's warning whenever people or animals come too close. And it's really fun to look at when she's uh, making the sounds and every other meerkat is just <laughs> down in their holes. <laughs> So that's pretty nice. All right, so I think that's it for this image. Let's have a look at the before and after. So this is where we started. So pretty flat and yeah, low details. And this is where we ended up. So I'm pretty happy about it. All right, so that's it for this video. I'm really happy that I was able to do this video because uh, Darktable has been crashing all day. So, yeah. Uh, but thanks a lot for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you want to watch more from me, hit that subscribe button. And again, thanks a lot for watching and goodbye. Mm -hmm.